What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Revival. My name is JJ, and it has been a while since I've done a pickup video. So, here we go. Okay, so I have quite a bit to get through. Um, thankfully, a lot of these are just kind of like, like the Wii U games. They're pretty much all just like, I hate to use the term throwaway titles, but I'm trying to get a complete run that I, I, I think I mentioned that a few times here on the channel. Uh, I'm trying to get a complete run of Wii U games. And so these are just more of the super cheap, like less than 10 bucks, just stuff that I picked up because I saw it and I was like, I don't have this one yet. It's really cheap and I'll snag it. So I've got a handful of those. I'm starting to run out of the cheap ones uh, to buy. Uh, so pretty soon I'm going to be at a point where it's like, I'll get like one or two games every blue moon, uh, once in a blue moon, because these things are like starting to get up there in price, unfortunately. Um, also went to a convention, got a couple of things there. And, uh, yeah, so let's just dive into it. Um, I'll start out with the obvious one. Uh, I got this at that convention that I just mentioned. Uh, Kansas City Comic Con, they have plushes all the time. I've just been kind of trying to collect all of the Mario character plushes, and I didn't have Donkey Kong, so, uh, here he is. I actually recently also picked up a Toad, um, but I have him at my desk at work. Uh, he's just sitting there, so uh, I that's why he's not here right now, but I did pick up one of those as well, um, and that was just in a nearby shop that I was at, but I did get this guy at the uh, convention, and I was just super happy to, to have him there, because it was a good price, and uh, I like Donkey Kong, so there you have it. Alright, uh, let's knock these out of the way first. Um, so, the first one is a game on Genesis that... My friend Cameron, who has been on the show before, um, he's also been on Pixel Perspective with us uh, to talk about Earthbound. Uh, he was at, well, the, the two of us were at a um, uh, a pawn shop a while ago. Every now and then we'll take a Saturday and we'll go like just game hunting at random, you know, thrift stores, pawn shops, game stores, that kind of thing, and just, just kind of look around and see what's going on. And we saw uh, a Genesis game for, I think it was like 10 bucks, um, and it's a complete box. And... Typically, you never say no to a complete in-box game that's really cheap, uh, but I did that day, and I was kind of kicking myself. He saw that, and he figured, I'll pick it up for him. So he bought it for me uh, the next time he was up there, because it was still there, and that is Zoop on Sega Genesis. I don't know anything about this game, but the fact that it's just a Genesis game that's complete in-box, uh, that's really cool, because it's just, I love having these things. So, Cameron, thank you very much. This is awesome, and uh, it'll look great on the shelf. Uh, another game that I got recently for Xbox, um, I it looked kind of like a, like an RPG slash adventure game. I don't know anything about it though, so if anybody does, let me know if it's any good. Because um, I saw screenshots and it looked interesting just because of the gameplay that I saw, and um, I saw that it was like super cheap on eBay, so I went ahead and just snagged it. And that is Sudeki on Xbox, it's just the original Xbox. Um, but I don't know anything about it other than. There's a couple of scantily clad women on the cover, <laughs> um, but the gameplay I saw looked like, like I said, like an action adventure kind of RPG style game. So um, I'd love to know more about this. If anybody has played it or knows anything about it, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, another game that I picked up that I've been wanting for a while that I saw was on sale on Amazon, um, and that is Brigandine: The Legend of Runersia. Rune uh, on PS4, um, I believe it is a sequel to another game on PS1 uh, called Brigandine. Um, I don't know much about it other than it's like a tactical RPG kind of game. Uh, I love the artwork on it, so it just looked really, really intriguing. Finally saw that it was heavily discounted, so I decided to pick it up. Um, so there you have it. Um, and again, any of these games that I haven't played that uh, you know anything about, let me know in the comments down below, because 
I love hearing that stuff, and uh, I, I need to know what games I need to get to as soon as possible. Uh, another game that I absolutely, I saw super cheap, and I planned on getting to, like, right away, and I just haven't. It's still sealed. Um, but it was, like, deeply discounted one day, and I was like, I'm going to get it, because I haven't played one in a while. I love NHL games. I think they're so much fun. I don't even follow holly, hockey all that closely. But NHL 23, I went ahead and picked it up. Um, I'll get to it eventually. I know I will because I have fun with these games. They're like just a blast for me to play. But I only, I buy them like once a decade. Hit that. It's kind of the same thing with Madden. Like when I get into it, I get super into it. But it's very rare that I pick those games up. So this one was was really discounted, and I figured, what the hell, I'll grab it. Um, the Sega Genesis was where I spent most of my NHL games. Like I would put NHL '95 on Sega as as like one of my favorite Sega games, hands down, easily. Um, I just have so, so much fun with that game. Alright, so, obviously you see the blue cases here. These are Wii U games that, like I said before, I picked up just super cheap. I don't know thing one about 90% of these, um, other than, like, they're most of them pretty self-explanatory, and I more than likely won't play any of them save, like, one or two. Um, but, like I said, I want to get a complete run at some point, so gotta keep going with this, with these. So, uh, now that I finished the Nintendo Power collection, this is kind of my next goal. So, uh, so first up, uh, Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams Director's Cut. Sure, I have it now. There's that. Uh, we've got Game Party Champions. Uh, this game I may give a shot to at some point, just because the LEGO games are super cute. Um, and I think this is the last LEGO game I needed for the Wii U. And that's Lego City Undercover. I've been wanting this one for a while. It's not like high priced or anything like that. I just didn't see it out that often. And when I did, I would just be like, eh, I'll see it at some other point. And then when I was ready to buy it, I wouldn't find it. So this time I saw it and I was like, I'm just going to pull the trigger. So uh, we've got Snoopy's Grand Adventure. Uh, it's be an interesting one to explain if somebody comes over and looks through my collection. Uh, Barbie and Her Sister's Puppy Rescue. Um, we got Cars 3, Driven to Win, a couple of exercise games, Zumba Fitness, World Party, and We Fit You. I didn't get it with, like, the balance board and all that stuff. I honestly don't, if I ever, like, see it, like, stupid cheap or something, I might pick that up. I'm never going to play it or anything like that. That's why I didn't really care so much. It's more about just having the, the game for me, um, and just so I can, like, add it to the, the Wii U wall. Um... So, I don't know, but happy to have them at least. Uh, Wipeout, Create, and Crash, and Wipeout 3. Got both of those super cheap. I mean, I mean, I got all these super cheap. Um, and then I got some Just Dance games. I think I'm only missing like one or two of them now. But I got Just Dance Disney Party 2, Just Dance Kids 2014, and Just Dance 2018. Uh, yeah, like I said, I, chances are I'm not going to play any of those, maybe one or two. Um, but for the most part, it's just like cheap stuff that I'm trying to fill out the collection so I can get that complete run at some point. So now we're going to move on to Switch. These games, though, I absolutely plan on playing because they're great. This will also tell you how long it's been since I have uh, done a pickups video because some of these are like have been out for a while. So case in point, first one, Fire Emblem Engage. Uh, yeah, I've already played and beaten it. I enjoyed it. Um, I, I like Three Houses better. I talked about it on Pixel Perspective. Uh, Adrian and I kind of came to the same consensus where the battle system is fun, but the side content is a little, like, chore-ish. Uh, so it's kind of... You just kind of get to a point where you're like, all right, let's move along, you know. The story's not anything to write home about. It's fine. Um, I think if it's your first Fire Emblem game, you'll have a good time with it. It's great. Uh, but it's not going to be, like, near the top of anybody's Fire Emblem, you know, rankings. Um, at least... That's my guess, um, and that's definitely my opinion as well. Uh, but it's it's a solid game nonetheless. Uh, next up, Octopath Traveler 2. Amazing game. Um, love it just as much as the first. Uh, the only thing is I just hate long boss fights for the sake of being long to make them epic. Um, and that's what the end of this game did to me, and I was not thrilled about it. So I talked about it in a pixel perspective as well. Uh, but great game overall nonetheless. Just... I hate those those long boss fights for no reason other than just to be long. 
Um, got a game here that I saw on sale that I have always wanted to play. Uh, it actually is a two-pack, but one of them is uh, a, a classic that I have never played, and I know some of you will be shocked to hear it, but Zombies Ate My Neighbors and Ghoul Patrol. Uh, I've always wanted to play Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I just never have. So I'm super stoked to have this finally and uh, be able to check it out at some point. Um, and the fact that it comes to Ghoul Patrol is just an added bonus. So, sweet. Uh... <laughs> This is one of the most surprising things, because everybody I talked to was obsessed with this game when it came out. And I just could not get into it. And that is Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm Final, Final Bar Line. I played maybe six, seven songs, and I was just bored to tears. Um, I love the music. I do. I just, I think it's just the gameplay. I want to listen to the music. I don't want to be hitting buttons the whole time and, and kind of, you know, I just... I, I think if you love this game, that's great, and I think there is a lot to love here. Um, I'm just, I'm really surprised that it didn't, you know, hit me better. And, well, I shouldn't say I'm that surprised, because it was kind of the I had the same reaction with the older ones, too. Uh, the ones on 3DS. I think they're a neat idea, but I just, rhythm games just aren't for me, I think is what it is. And this tells you that, especially because I'm obsessed with Final Fantasy, and I just couldn't, couldn't do it, but... I know a lot of people that absolutely swear by that game and love it, so you know it might be for you if you're if you're a fan. Uh, <laughs> so I went to New York a few weeks ago, and well, about a month, month and a half ago, with a friend of mine, and we made a stop by the Nintendo store, and this is right when Metroid Prime Remaster came out, and I remember everybody at the time. I don't know what it's looking like now, but everybody at the time was scrambling for physical copies. Couldn't find them anywhere. They were really, really tough to find. Um, and they were going for stupid prices on eBay as well, which is always really annoying. Uh, but at the Nintendo store, they had several copies. So I was like, I'm here, they have it, I'm picking it up because I want one. Um, so I am really excited to get into this because I am a, like, within the last couple of years, a new Metroid fan. Because um, I didn't play it growing up. And I uh, have not played any of the Prime games, so definitely stoked to get into that at some point. Uh, next up, we've got... Tales of Symphonia Remastered. Um, I love this game so much. I have not heard amazing things about this remaster on the Switch. Uh, I'm hoping that when and if I do get to playing this version, um, which I would like to, uh, they have ironed out some of those issues. Um, but I, who knows? Uh, either way, the story is wonderful and the characters are great in this. You'll, I mean, I think the video has already been out of my. Uh, um, top 100 games of all time where I had this on there because it's on that list. Uh, but yeah, Tales of Symphonia is a wonderful, wonderful game. Uh, next is a game that just looked interesting to me, and that is God Wars, The Complete Legend. Um, I don't know much about like the God Wars series or, or games. Um, I just know that it's a tactical RPG and it was super cheap, so I went ahead and just picked this up because it looks interesting. Um, again, this is one of those... If you know anything about it, let me know, because I would love to learn more about this. And next up, we've got a, another game that has been, like, re-released, remastered uh, on the Switch, which I love that they're doing this, by the way. There's so many of these coming out. It's wonderful. It's a game that I never played as a kid, but I've heard about a thousand times over. Um, and is again, another one of those classics. Uh, and that is Pocky and Rocky Reshrined. Um, looks super fun. I love the characters and the art. Um, I definitely am going to give this a shot at some point because it just looks super fun and cute. Uh, so yeah, can't wait to check that out. Uh, next is a game that I've been waiting for this to come out for so long because I never played it on the Game Boy Advance. I'm so glad it's finally here after getting delayed lord knows how many times. Um, that is Advance Wars 1 and 2 uh, Reboot Camp. Um, this is... I'm just so excited that this came out because I have been wanting to play this for so long. Um, I, I, I want to get to as soon as possible. I just have so much else to play at the moment. Um, especially with, uh, well, something else that I'm going to bring up that towards the end of this video. Uh, but I am super stoked that they did this. Thank you, Nintendo, for, for all these re-releases. Keep doing that, please. It's amazing. Um, and make your next console, because you're doing this so late in the Switch's life cycle, please make your next console backwards compatibility. Backwards compatible. That's the word I'm looking for have backwards compatibility, and you know what I mean. Um, because don't just do this at the end and then, like, move on to the next thing. Please, please don't do that. 
Um, but yes, I am super stoked to have this and uh, cannot wait to check it out at some point. Uh, same with this next game. Um, long time, been wanting to play it. Uh, them, I should say, because there's so many games in this collection. Uh, I have a few on Game Boy Advance, uh, like when they first came out. Um, if you listen to like our earlier episodes on Pixel Perspective, you hear Adrian and I talk about when I, well, when Adrian found those and I bought them at the uh, at Retropalooza. Um, that is the Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. Again, super excited to jump into these. I'm so glad they did this. This is all the freaking games just in one neat little place. It's great. I'm happy to pay full price for something like this. It's just wonderful. So again, thank you for doing that. Um, yeah. Uh, next game that I have heard quite a bit about, seen quite a bit about, and have wanted for a while. It just recently got discounted, so I assume it still is, but it definitely was when I bought it. Um, and a game that I absolutely plan on trying out at some point because it looks so interesting. That is Harvest Stella. Uh, just farming sim adventure game RPG kind of thing. Just looks super neat. And I love the, the aesthetics and the, the art style and just how beautiful it looks. Um, so definitely looking forward to checking that out as well. Uh, and then finally, another game that I've been wanting for a while, but again, a lot of these... I used to have a problem of, like, a game would come out and I'd be like, buy it, like, right when it's brand new because I would be afraid of, like, missing out or something. I've been able to control that <laughs> a lot better in recent years um, because I'm like, I'm not going to play it right away. I know I'm not. And thankfully, gaming isn't, like, especially when it comes to JRPGs, like, JRPGs are typically very, very uh, hard to find. Uh, soon after release. So if you don't jump on it right away, you're going to be paying even more, most likely. It's not really like that anymore, for the most part. At least the big games, the ones that I want to play. The niche ones, obviously, are still like that. and you know. But a lot of those kind of just fly under my radar, and I don't really pay attention to them anyway. But a game like this, Digimon Survive, I really wanted to play it, but I didn't want to pay for it when it first came out, because I, I, I was like, I just can't justify full price, so I'm not going to pay it, play it right away. You know, it was the same with Harvest Stella and that kind of thing. Um, I just wanted that discount, uh, because I knew I'd get to it eventually, but not at that point. Uh, so I finally saw that it was discounted, and I picked it up, and I'm super happy to have it. That is not all I got. So... This next one, I'm not going to take out of the box. Um, I did take it out, and I'll put up some pictures of it uh, when I show it here. But, those of you that know the saga um, of Square Enix and how they released this, and just mind-blowing that they would do this. I got one! Uh, it's the Final Fantasy Pixel Remastered Collection. Uh, I got it on the Switch. Um, although, surprisingly, the PS4 one seems to be going for more, uh, which I did not expect. Um, either way, they, they scalpers just bought all these up, and even, like, the just regular games by themselves and not the whole collector's edition. And those are going for stupid amounts, and it's just so frustrating to see that, because Final Fantasy fans especially are, like typically big collectors when it comes to things for the series, um, especially for the classic stuff like this. You know, if you've been a longtime fan, this is this is beautiful. This is something that's just like they have the the, the discs in there and the uh, the art book and the little pixel figures and stuff. I mean, it's, it's so cool. And the fact that they released so few and dropped it at like midnight on a random day when they weren't giving anybody a heads up. And... <sighs> just didn't have very many of them. It was so frustrating. I happened to just wake up by chance because I have a cat who likes to wake me up in the middle of the night. Um, I just happened to wake up by chance, roll over and check my phone and I saw on Twitter that these things went live and I was like, oh my God, and I just got one. If I wasn't up at that moment, I mean, these things sold out quick and now look on eBay. They're going for a stupid amount and it's, it's so unfortunate because that just means the people who are really going to appreciate them are going to have to pay way more than they should have to for these. And I, I, I don't like that. Um, that being said, I am obviously happy that I got one. Um, and, you know, obviously it's, it's going to be here and it will be appreciated. Uh, but I 
I'm just so happy to have this. I've been playing through the series. Um, I actually, just because I want to support them re-releasing the classic stuff, uh, I bought the whole collection digitally on PlayStation as well, and that's where I've been playing it for trophy support. Um, at the time of recording this, I've already got the Platinum on uh, Final Fantasy 1, and I am currently almost done with Final Fantasy 2. Um, after I finish the first two games and get the Platinum Trophy on both of those, I'm going to move on to something else, and then I'll come back and do 3 and 4, then I'll move, go on to something else and, you know, go back and forth. Because um, I don't think I can play all six of these in a row. As much as I love them, uh, I, I, I get burnt out. I don't want to do that. Uh, in fact, I'm starting to feel it just after 2, and I, fin I Platinum the first game in under 10 hours. Um, so it's like, but these are, this is a wonderful collection. Even if it's just digitally, if all you want to do is play it, and you don't care about the physical merchandise, which, dude, their games are so good, especially 4, 5, and 6. Like, 1, 2, and 3, it's great to see the roots of the series and where they came from. 4, 5, and 6, though, are masterpieces of games, um, especially 4 and 6. Uh, you know, they're, they're a couple of my favorite games of all time, um, obviously. And I just... <sighs> play these, because they're just so wonderful, and I, I, I can't recommend them enough. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. That is my pick of this video. I probably won't do any for a while again, because I literally, like, I had all of these for so long and hadn't bought anything new, really, like maybe one or two here and there, that I got to a point where I was just like, oh, well, the Pixel Remaster and, you know, uh, uh, Mega Man and uh, Advance Wars are coming out soon, so I'll just wait till I get those three since it's all around the same time, and then I'll do the the video for everything then. And that was like a month ago that I was I was thinking that, so I have not really been game hunting uh, lately quite a bit, mainly because I've got a big trip coming up that I, I've been saving for a little bit. So, uh, but I I just man, these are worth it digitally too. So I feel really horrible for you if you can't get the physical edition. Check Play Asia because I think they are restocking if you want that. Um, but even if you're forced to get the digital edition, it's worth it just to play these games because they're they're wonderful and uh, I I can't express my love for them enough. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, um, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, uh, tell me about any of these games that I have not played um, that you may have heard of or played or know something about uh, that I don't. Um, and just let me know in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. So um, thanks for watching, and as always, keep on gaming.